A shoulder rig is a big step for better video production. You can hold it steadier, you can walk smoother and of course focus much more accurate with the follow focus. So let's have a look on the camera shoulder rig. The shoulder rig comes in this box. Everything is packed nicely. There is just a very small and not detailed manual, but it's so simple that you don't need it anyway. You simply put the different parts together. First close the knobs with your fingers as much as you can and then use the tool to make it firm. Putting together the rig does not take too long, but still it's nothing you want to do all the time again and again. So once you build it together you might not want to take it apart again. But if you have to, you can easily do it in 10 minutes. The good thing is that you can decide how big you make the distance between the different parts, so you can adjust it to your preference. I also bought the follow focus because that was the actual reason why I wanted to have a shoulder rig. It's annoying that the knobs are often in each other's way. Make sure that the parts are horizontal and then at the handles. And the last one is the shoulder pad. I personally prefer to have the screen not too close to my eyes, so I put it to the front as much as I can. I really like that there is this offset piece, that the screen is actually in front of my eyes. But if you have a camcorder that has a flip screen, you will have the problem that it is too much on the left. There are mounting points at several different places, so you can add more devices later. The shoulder rig is not very comfortable, but it's fine enough. You can actually adjust the angle if you want to. There are no weights on it, so all the weight will be on your hands. After shooting my last short film I had some back pain because I was using my shoulder rig for several hours. Also the handles are not very comfortable because they are plain metal. This can be very cold in winter. You have to screw your camera on the base plate. Screwing it on is not extremely fast done, but it's okay. You can also remove this black bar and add a quick release mount. You can attach a quick release plate on the bottom of the base plate in order to attach it to a tripod. The distance between camera body and focus ring has to be far enough. Otherwise the focus ring cannot reach the follow focus. The follow focus works fine. Somehow there is sometimes a point with small resistance, but it occurs just sometimes. Don't ask me why. But it's made completely out of metal like all the parts of the Steadicam. You can also mark focus points on the ring. It would be very useful, but the needle is on the top, so you cannot really see it when you have the rig on your shoulders. So far I couldn't find a way to adjust the needle. The shoulder rig is a big help, especially for short films. It is much more comfortable to hold than handheld and you can focus much more accurate. You can also walk with it much smoother. All in all I am satisfied with this shoulder rig. It is light, very well built, looks good and not too expensive. If you have any questions then feel free to write in the comments and I will be happy to help you. Also like the video if it was helpful for you. Also make sure to watch my video on handheld vs shoulder rig vs steadicam to see what advantages and disadvantages the different tools have and to learn more about this shoulder rig.